The last time I shared a vlog with you, it was all about my skincare routines, my morning routine, evening routine, and all of the treatments that I've been doing to preserve my youthful appearance for as long as possible. So I did my disc pour. I also did my second clear and brilliant laser on my chest. Well, this time around, I am taking you with me to a micro needling appointment, which I have never done micro needling before. This time it's for the face and the device they're going to be using is called the Candela Matrix Pro. It's micro needling plus radio frequency, which has been all of the rage lately. I've heard so many incredible things about this procedure and I attended an informational event a couple weeks ago. So I got to watch some videos, learn a little bit about how it works. They extended three complimentary treatments to all of the attendees. So this will be my first treatment and I'm planning to take you with me to all three treatments and then I will do a little before and after at the end. Even though these treatments are complimentary, I'm still going to give you my honest opinion and tell you whether or not I think the treatments are worth it. And from the before and afters I've seen, it really does help to stimulate collagen in the face and that is exactly what I'm looking for. I think that's sort of the next step in the progression of things that I would need. This is something that I've actually been looking into. I've been doing a lot of research and there are different machines this is new technology, so it's supposed to be basically pain-free. It's not as harsh or damaging to the skin. I don't think the needles go in as deep, so it's supposed to be really great. You don't have a lot of downtime, which I'm really excited about. So I'm excited. I'm not looking forward to the numbing and the potential pain. Fingers crossed it's not that bad, although I have a pretty high pain tolerance. We do have a pretty long drive today, so I'm gonna quickly wash all of this makeup off my face, brush my teeth, grab my shoes and purse, and we are out the door. So this helps with everything, right? Lifting, firming. Fine lines, deep lines, lifting, tightening, core size, um, acne scarring, things like that. Um, you don't really have acne scarring. So for you, the biggest thing is gonna be, I'm gonna go aggressive in your nasal labial fold. I'm gonna go aggressive in your jawline to kind of snatch it. I had to take off yesterday to heal, so now it's been close to 48 hours since my treatment and I can officially wear makeup again, which is perfect timing because I do have an event to go to later on this afternoon. So I'm just going to do my makeup, get ready to go while I share my experience with you. As you can see, the redness is basically gone. When I look closely at my skin, I can't even see little red marks or the little red dots that I had yesterday. I still have a little redness on my eyelids which we will talk about in a little bit. That is for a good reason. By the time I got home on treatment day, it had been maybe four hours. I was in no place to talk about it yet, but I did capture some video so you can see my skin. You can tell even just four hours later, the redness was so much better and I didn't have any pain, discomfort, no irritation. I really wasn't inflamed. I would say my skin felt a little delicate, maybe a bit tight, but that's it. The lady in the office said a little tinted moisturizer, a little concealer, but we have an event to go 
too. So I'm mixing these two foundations together. I'm gonna do a little double wear and a little makeup by Mario because I did sunless tan last night and this is a little bit too light. This is a little bit too dark. So I'm just gonna mix them. The office I went to is called Aesthetic Element Medical. It's in Weston, Florida, which is about an hour north of me, but it was beautiful. Whenever I walked in, they had everything decorated for the holidays. It looked very pretty. They even had an office dog, which is an immediate green flag. I guess the office manager brings their dog every day. So I was able to get some dog pets in as I waited. I instantly felt at home. That's always a good sign. It tells you you're in the right place. I also knew I was in really good hands because my provider was Stephanie Phillips. She's a nurse practitioner and she is the one who led the training on Candela Matrix Pro that I had attended a couple weeks ago. So she is very well versed, very well trained on this machine. She knows all of the different settings, everything that it can do. So she was able to answer all of my questions and kind of walk me through the treatment before we even got started. I had never done any treatment like this on the face, no microneedling, lasers, anything like that. So while I've been numbed before like they do numbing whenever I have my clear and brilliant I've had numbing or local numbing for getting my lips filled before I've never had the gel applied to the entire face and it instantly starts to tingle a little bit it feels kind of cooling a little bit of a burning sensation. Even after waiting maybe 20 minutes with the numbing gel sitting on my skin, I started to feel a little bit irritated. I was getting a little red and blotchy, so I wasn't sure how it was going to go. But I love that they made me feel really comfortable. So when we got started on the treatment, she did one little zap just so I could you know, feel the sensation, know what it was like. And it really was not that bad. It was very tolerable. She let me know we could stop anytime if I felt like I needed a break, but I never really got to that point. There were a few little zaps in different places on the face where I just thought, ooh, okay, I definitely felt that but nothing really painful or excruciating. I was pleasantly surprised by the experience, so she was able to go pretty quickly. One of the ways I like to distract myself whenever I'm getting some sort of treatment like this is to just ask questions. I'll talk to the provider. I do the same thing to the guy who does my disport. As we were chit-chatting, I was taking full advantage of her time and I was asking her professional opinion on some of the other treatments that I've done research on or I've heard a lot of good things about. So she gave me a lot of really valuable insight. We were probably halfway done with the face and I had mentioned to her that my upper eyelids have been a place of concern for me and I'm interested in kind of doing early stage research for an upper bluff. I don't know if I'm quite ready for one yet, but when I look in the mirror, especially in the mornings because that's when we're really puffy, that's really the area that I see or that I notice the most signs of aging. So I think it would make the biggest difference. And she agreed, she said, you're absolutely not ready for an upper bluff just yet, but if I was interested, she would do a skin tightening procedure on the upper lid area as well. So I said, yes, of course. Halfway through, she put a little numbing cream right on the upper eyelid, right in here. And then at the end, when she was done with the face, she went ahead and did the eyelids for me as well. That is why I still have a little redness. And actually that's the area where I still have like a little grid of dots in a couple different places. So it's a little red and it feels kind of scaly. There are tiny little scabs there, which will eventually fall off. I don't know if the redness is just drawing attention or if it is maybe a little bit inflamed, but I definitely don't notice any tightening yet. This is one of those treatments that it takes time, you have to have patience with it. You're not going to see full results until a few weeks later. So normally when you get microneedling with radio frequency, unless you request the upper eyelids as well, you wouldn't have any of that redness or texture scabbing up there. It would just be on the face. Not only am I excited to see the results after I finish my three treatments, but I'm really excited to see if there's a visible difference on my eyes as well. One of the most natural ways to bronze the face is to go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, a couple shades darker than you. So this is shade 6.5 Deep, but it makes the most incredible, flawless, natural looking cream bronze. I guess because it goes on a little bit sheer, it's really easy to blend. I absolutely love this. I have the mini size. I thought about picking up the full size during the savings event, but I didn't. I decided to just wait because I have so many bronzers. I really need to go through some of them. 
But next year during the spring savings event, if I'm able to go through more bronzers, I will definitely be picking this up in the full size. And then that's it. I basically found the one best product that works for me. And I already know this is probably way too much makeup than I should be applying 48 hours after my appointment, but it should be a pretty quick event. It's just a late lunch. And my plan is to rush home and then immediately wash my face again. So it should be okay. And then the only other post-care instructions are pretty much common sense. So for the next few days, I'm supposed to use a really gentle cleanser, light moisturizer, no tanning beds, no tanning, no self-tanner, no tanning in the sun, of course, when you're really sensitive. And then I can't use any actives like retinol, tretinoin, anything like that for seven days. I got really lucky not needing a lot of downtime because this is a very busy week. I have an event tonight. There's a Tata Harper skincare event, a lunch tomorrow morning. And then I'm supposed to have a date event with my husband on Saturday. And one of my good friends is coming into town and we're doing a little Friendsgiving lunch on Sunday. So it's kind of back to back to back events. And it would have been really unfortunate if I had a puffy red face or if I was in any pain. So far, so good. It's been really easy. Face is basically done. I filled in my eyebrows. I'm not sure what to do about eyes. I know I want to keep it pretty simple, especially because right above the crease, I have that texture, the little scabs. It's like little stamp marks. I pulled out my Patrick Ta palette and a fluffy brush. I'm just going to see if this powder looks okay. Just going to tap a little bit. Okay, that's not so bad. Up close, it looks kind of funny, but from far away, it's not bad. Someone would have to be looking at my eyeshadow really up close to be able to see that. I'm doing the same thing on the other side, just slowly building up that color, just so we have a little something in the crease and then blending it out. Yesterday, since I couldn't wear any makeup anyways, I did a lot of work on my computer in the afternoon. And then I spent a good portion of the day just cleaning, organizing, and pulling out all of the holiday decorations. So we do have a bare Christmas tree up right now in the main living room area. I still have a giant Christmas tree in a box in our TV room. Not sure where I'm gonna put that tree. And then I even have an office tree or a white Christmas tree that I used to have in my old apartment. I would just keep it in this room, but it's so big and beautiful. I might put that tree out on display. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Since we have a much larger space this time around, I know I'm gonna have to pick up some decorations. I'm a beginner at this, so I already know I'm gonna have to jump down the rabbit hole on Pinterest and look up different DIY ideas. We need to decorate the mantle. And that's just inside. I have no idea what we're gonna do outside. But it's going to be good. Much better than our Halloween decorations. Because the texture of these eyeshadows is so smooth and creamy, it actually doesn't look that bad. It's really not emphasizing any texture. And from far away, I don't think you would be able to see a difference. Now, when I remove my makeup, you can definitely see there's little scabs on the eyelid, but it covered everything up and it doesn't look crusty or bumpy. It doesn't look funny at all. I was a little bit nervous. I wasn't sure how the eyes were gonna go because the eyes are the one thing that I definitely need to cover. I'm gonna buff a little eyeshadow beneath the lower lash line. I'm gonna do eyeliner, mascara, and then I have a little time before my event. I always like to do my lipstick dead last, so I might wait on the lipstick and pull out an outfit because I have no idea what to wear. Face and eyes are now done. I'm just waiting on the lips. I almost forgot highlighter, and you can see this is a well-loved highlighter, one of my most used products, and I'm hoping if I try really hard, I'm thinking I might be able to declutter this by the end of the year, which would be amazing because that means I got my money's worth out of it. I'm almost done. This is Westman Atelier Peau de Rose, a longtime favorite. It's so easy. I just tap it on with my fingers. It looks so pretty. Just adding this to the cheeks, the nose, the chin, all of the usual spots. And then I'm basically done and I need to choose an outfit. It's not the best, but we all know why. It's gonna take a few weeks, but hopefully I will be snatched. I just threw on some jewelry, finishing steps. I am dressed. 
can't really see, but this is the top of my dress. It does have very small sleeves, but before I stick my arms in the holes, I'm gonna apply my shimmering body lotion. This is the Rio Radiance Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This stuff smells so good. It smells like a pina colada, but I like that it moisturizes and it has just a hint of shimmer. It's honestly not that shimmery. I'm just gonna stick with a pretty basic nude lip. This is Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. It came in a little holiday gift set. I think it's one of the best gift sets. It's a really great price and you get a lot of great pencils. This shade Anywhere Caffeine became famous because I think Hailey Bieber said she used this. This is Gucci Blaze of Noon, a longtime favorite. I'm almost done. Well, kind of, I'm probably only halfway done, but I feel like I'm almost done. I keep this shade in my purse. It's just the perfect pinky nude. It looks good with everything. I'm gonna use Daisy Donut Lip Gloss from Buxom. My fragrance for the night is going to be Dama Bianca from Zerjoff. I wanted something somewhat tropical so it will go with the body lotion. Mm, yeah, this is perfect. I love this scent. Dama Bianca is just always that girl. My friend Juanita is on her way over and then we're gonna Uber to the restaurant together. I am so excited. I skipped lunch because this is sort of a late lunch, early dinner. I'm hungry, I cannot wait. It's now been one full week since my microneedling radiofrequency appointment and my skin is completely healed. No redness, no little bumps, no little scabs on the eyelids. Everything is completely healed. I'm back to my normal skincare routine. I made it to all of my events, no problem. We ended up canceling date night actually on Saturday because we were both just too busy, too tired, but we had Friendsgiving on Sunday, which was really nice to meet up with everybody and do brunch like we normally do. It's been an annual tradition now for the past few years, so I'm glad we were able to do that. The Tata Harper event was actually really cool. I did not realize that we were going to be going through an entire skincare routine, so I of course show up with a full face of makeup only to get to the class and remove it. But it was really awesome because we got to meet the Tata Harper herself. I've heard of the skincare brand. I think I've maybe tried a couple samples of things. I'm trying to think, I wanna say I had maybe a deluxe mini size in an advent calendar, something like that. I really was not familiar, but she talked us through every single product, walked us through a normal skincare routine, and they kind of spoiled us. We went home with quite a few goodies, so I figured I might as well show you what I took home, this beautiful bag which I think is so perfect for travel. This I'm definitely going to hold on to and get a lot of use out of. I like boxes, bags like this because they're hard. You can put jewelry, glass bottles in here for travel and then just make sure you pack it nicely in the suitcase. It's a really good size. So this would basically fit everything that you needed to travel with. It has a mirror, which is really convenient. And then inside I still have my little tool we went through the steps of lymphatic drainage. I don't know if gua sha is the name of the massage or the tool, so I don't know if this is a gua sha or if those are the movements, but this is a little facial massage tool, which I really love. I still have a little sponge from the class that was just a little disposable sponge. We have a little stone because we did some meditation. And then we have another really cute bag for travel right here and I love this vibrant green, it's so happy. It's like Kelly green, I guess. And then another little box of products. So she talked us through the double cleanse process and this is what comes in here. So there's the regenerating cleanser and then the clarifying cleanser. You can use the cleansing kabuki brush to enhance any cleansing experience or to pre-foam your clarifying cleanser. I love that. So extra. <laughs> and then I did already peek inside this cute bag. This has a bunch of minis in it. A lot of great skincare, basically an entire routine. 
This is a full size product though. This is the Waterlock Moisturizer. And why do I feel like I've used this before? I think I have used this moisturizer and I remember really liking it, but I think it was years ago. I didn't even remember, but I'm pretty sure I have used one of those moisturizers. And then in this little bag, a ton of little minis. Here we have the Reparative Moisturizer, the Essence. This is amazing, feels really good on the skin. We have a mini retinoic nutrient face oil. This is what we used before we massaged the skin with the Gua Sha tool. Restorative eye cream, definitely applied that. Here's a mini of the regenerating cleanser. I always need little sample size cleansers whenever I'm traveling, so this is amazing. And then there's another little mini in here. This is the resurfacing mask. We also went in with the mask. So basically the entire routine for you to try, which is really generous. And I loved the products. I mean, they felt really good on the skin. I need to go through some of my open skincare first and I will probably try this for a couple weeks and I'll do the whole routine and see if there's a big difference. I like that the products have active botanicals, but they're also clean. And finally, the last thing I wanna to quickly touch on for today is the cost of treatment because I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have questions and I wanna be really transparent with you guys. So a normal cost of a microneedling radio frequency on the Candela Matrix Pro is around $1,000 per treatment and you do a series of three treatments. From the personal research I've done, that seems to be pretty standard across the board for similar treatments. In fact, the two other treatments that I know I've discussed and I've talked to you guys, I've at least mentioned them in previous videos that I was interested, are Thermage and Morpheus 8. Now Morpheus 8 is around the same cost-wise, I believe it's roughly $1,000 per treatment, but it is incredibly damaging to the skin and it's supposed to be really, really painful. So I think there are so many other cons besides just cost. I've seen way too many videos recently of people having terrible experiences, people having scars. In fact, one of the big influencers, Tezza, you might be familiar, she's talked about or been really open with her terrible experience with Morpheus. In fact, she's had to go and get other laser treatments to help get rid of the scars that it left her with. So you have to be really, really careful. Basically ruled out Morpheus 8. Thermage is one that was recommended to me by Miami Skin and Vein, Dr. Patel, where I get my Dysport done. I pulled out the quote they sent me home with the last time I was in the office and we were talking about it. So for face, neck, and eyes, the cost is $3,800. You're supposed to only have to get it done once a year so you don't have to do a series of treatments, but that is really expensive. And what I'm learning or what I'm seeing and hearing just word of mouth from other people, including my dermatologist, is that it's just not really worth it. Maybe it will help improve skin elasticity. You might see a little tightening, but not enough to really justify the cost. So Thermage is very expensive, even though it's supposed to be not painful at all. I can think of so many better things to spend that much money on. In fact, I would much rather set aside that money and maybe wait a couple years and then have the upper bluff or put that towards a, a facelift even later on when I need it because that is just way too much money for no real results. The treatment I've been doing on my chest, the Clear and Brilliant Laser for hyperpigmentation and all of the sun damage is $500 per treatment. And I'm supposed to do at least three. Right now, I've only done two. I've definitely noticed a difference. I'm going to wait until my third treatment to really look at before and after pictures. At this point, I really can't say for sure if I think it was truly worth $1,000. I don't even want to think about it, but this is, research and science. This is how we learn. I always like to talk to people and get their feedback on treatments that they've done. And so I'm just sharing this information with you. I've, I'm the guinea pig. Undoubtedly, the most important thing to keep in mind if you're considering laser treatments or if you're starting to take your skincare more seriously, maybe you're interested in getting Botox or Dysport or doing microneedling, anything like that, is that all of the money goes to waste. Even the money spent on skincare, whether it be expensive cream, serums, all of that money is truly wasted if you're not going to invest in sun protection. If you're not going to protect your skin every single day, if you're not really committed to the daily stuff, 
it's really not worth spending, you know, throwing a couple thousand dollars into a series of treatments if you're just then going to go into the sun and not wear SPF. I'm only one treatment in, I'm very happy with it. I don't know if it's because I just got a lot of sleep last night, but I do feel like my eyelids look really wide awake. I don't have as much excess skin. Maybe there is a bit of initial tightening that happens immediately after getting the microneedling. I'm not sure, but I'm really happy with the eyelids, happy with my face. I feel like my skin tone looks far more even. I'm used to having little freckles and little brown spots and just hyperpigmentation on the face. Not a lot, but a little bit. And this morning I was looking in the mirror and I feel like my skin tone is just really clear at the moment. But who's to say if that's from the microneedling a week ago, it could be the topicals that I've been using. It could be that I've been using tretinoin. I didn't use it this week, but before this week I was using it. So I'm not sure. I already have my second appointment in the book, so I will continue to update you guys. But that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you found it interesting. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I love to use you guys as a sounding board. I feel like we're all friends here. We're all interested in beauty. So if you've done any treatments like this, let us know, sound off down below if there's anything that you've tried, if you've maybe had a friend who's had really good luck with something. I'm curious to know where you are on your skincare journey. Drop me a comment, we will keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.